Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Keeping optical ports clean is important for accurate fiber measurements as well as the health of test equipment. This video will demonstrate how to clean the different types of optical ports on OWL fiber optic test equipment. There are two main types of optical ports found on OWL fiber optic test equipment, each with their own method of cleaning. First, let's go over the first type of port which can be found on devices such as OTDRs, light sources, length testers, talk sets, and other types of equipment that require specific connector types such as LC, SC, ST, or FC. Cleaning these types of test equipment ports is done with an in-adapter cleaner, the same type of cleaner used to clean inside patch panels. Examples of in-adapter cleaners are cleaning sticks, hux cleaners, or one-click cleaners like these you see here. These cleaners are based upon industry standard ferrule diameters. So for LC ports that use one and a quarter millimeter ferrules, you will need a 1.25 millimeter cleaner, while SC, ST, and FC having two and a half millimeter ferrules will require a two and a half millimeter cleaner. In this example, we will use a one-click cleaner such as the ones you see here. Now, if you need the part numbers for these devices, the one and a quarter millimeter is called the OC1, and the two and a half millimeter is called the OC2. Now, let's demonstrate how to use these devices. Simply insert into the OTDR port. And sometimes just give it a couple clicks. Or if we're using the two and a half millimeter, simply plug it into the SC port and give it a couple clicks. Usually a double click like that is enough to clean out the ports. But for best results, it is helpful to also inspect inside the ports with a fiber scope to ensure that the port is clean, instead of assuming that it's clean. Sometimes the cleaner does not remove all the debris, and several cleaning cycles may be required. Clean ports are especially critical for OTDR testing, since dust or dirt may cause the port to be overly reflective. Overly reflective events sometimes cause issues and anomalies in the OTDR trace that are unexpected. And if debris is allowed to build up in the port, over time, repeated connector insertions may grind the debris into the port, resulting in pitting, which costs quite a bit of money to repair. So now that we've covered this type of port, let's move on to the universal detector ports found on OWL optical power meters. The universal detector ports on OWL optical power meters are designed differently and thus require a special method for cleaning. The following accessories are required for cleaning OWL power meter detector ports. Isopropyl alcohol of 91% or better, or other approved fiber cleaning fluid. A round wooden toothpick with a sharp point, and it's critical not to use a metal pin or needle as this could damage the internal photo detector inside the power meter. A cotton swab, a 10x jeweler's loop, and some compressed air. Okay, first remove the universal adapter from the power meter detector port and then use a jeweler's loop to inspect the detector end face. Now as you can see there's a little aperture here. That's that's where the photo detector is. So you'll use the jeweler's loop as such and you'll kind of position it so that you can see inside the port there. Now it's helpful to have a bright light behind you so you can see the surface of the photo detector. Uh, the light can shine off of there and you can, you can see if there's any dust or debris on the surface of the detector. Now if any debris is present, uh, especially near the center of the detector, uh, the photo detector should be clean. Now in most cases, compressed air alone may be enough to clear out the dust and dirt from the surface of the photo detector. So you simply blow the compressed air into the opening of the detector port at a low angle, such as like this. However, if this doesn't help, a more thorough cleaning may be required. Uh, the first thing you need to do at this at this 
point is to uh, take a little bit of the cotton from the swab and put it onto the toothpick. Now, as you can see, I have already done that here. As you can see. Then you will wet the cotton toothpick with the alcohol or the cleaning fluid. So basically just we're getting this wet here. Okay. Now once we've gotten this wet, we simply um, we use great care. We insert the cotton toothpick into the opening in the detector port and you apply light pressure onto the photo detector. And then you make some circular motions like this. You can kind of move move the uh, toothpick around like this and it kind of uh, gets around in the center and away f uh, gets the debris away from the center. And once you're done, simply take the canned air again and you clean it out and you do this. this what this does is this uh, not only evaporates the alcohol but it also um, moves the debris away from the center of the photo detector. Now when you're done with all this simply take the jeweler's loop again and, and inspect the end and if it's clean you're fine then re then replace the, the the cap however um, if this did not work you, you uh, several of these cleaning cycles may be required uh, one, again once you're done simply put the cap back onto the meter and you should be ready to go this has been another instructional video from owl the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment for more instructional videos, or to learn more about OWL's products in general, please visit owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.